Hey everybody, it's Amanda. I am by myself for the next couple weeks. Pamela is out of town right now. Um, so I'm gonna try and do these by myself. Clearly I have not been doing a very good job. It's been a couple, <laughs> it's been about two weeks since she left. Um, but we're back. And I'm gonna start off with my whip for today. I, um, I've finished a few things. Um, I will try and put photos of them in here. And sorry if I'm looking. Um, I started on the Sleepy Hollow stitch along from Tiny Modernist, so I actually dyed my own 32 count linen. This is the whole thing, kind of. Um, and right now I'm working on the border, so it's been different. I've been trying to stitch more on linens and even weaves just to see if I can improve my stitching on them. I'm still getting used to the feel of the linen. Um, it's a little bit more, I don't know, slippery, I guess. It just kind of tends to not lay correctly like I want it to, so learning process. Um, so that leads us to new stuff for the week, and which we've got part one of Sleepy Hollow Stitch Along. Um, you can see I'm going to be doing it as the full piece, not as the individual pieces like you see right there. Uh, the border is available for free. Um, it's linked on the the page for this um, through uh, her website. Excuse me, through Cheryl's website. And let's see what's next. We got some new embroidery stuff in. Um, we got some tracing paper and some DMC needles in, as well as some new iron-on patterns and some other bits and bobs for stuff. Uh, we have Stitcher's Revolution and Aunt Martha's patterns. Um, I grabbed some of the Stitcher's Revolution patterns that I liked. So we've got the little succulents one, which is called Desert Bloom, and the Fanciful Birds one, which looks very like Scandinavian style um, birds, and Spice of Life, which is all kind of like spices and baking and cooking kind of stuff, which is would be really, really cute on some um, towels or other little item, like an apron or something like that. That would be really cute. Uh, let's see. We also have some new heart and hand. Uh, we have Autumn Morley Gig, which is really cute. I might have to make some of these, maybe try and finish them in that little tin style finish. Um, another one in that same small tart style one, I guess that's what it's called, is the uh, needle and thread one. And we have farmhouse bird, the long legs. It also comes with the embellishment. And we have patchwork sheep. See that there? I like you quilting fans out there. And we have the newest in the Square Dance series, which is July, August, and September. And August, of course, is my favorite because there are bees on it. And that is it for the new Heart and Hand, as far as I know. Um, we have Witch's Brew Pub from Waxing Moon. And this one's nice because it's actually just one color. Um, it calls for Gentle Art Onyx for both of them, but you can also do it in 310 if you're just doing DMC. Um, but yeah, those are really cute. I'm gonna have to try one of those to make some more Halloween stuff because, you know, I don't have enough Halloween stuff as it is. And we also have, I didn't grab all of them, but we got a bunch of the It's So Emma designs. Uh, this one's the most recent one. I think it's a brand new one from them. Um, you can check those out on our page. I'm gonna link everything down below. Um, so give those a uh, try if you haven't tried them before. We just got in the new Plum Streets, which one, this one is a uh, tired trio, which has sloths on it. Uh, we also got the Beekeeper, 
which oop, there we go. This one is apparently inspired by um, Lark Rice to Candleford, which is a BBC series. I haven't seen that one. It does pop up a lot because I watch like all of the BBC period dramas. I'm watching the 1996 adaptation of um, Tenet of Wildfell, Wildfell Hall, I think is what it's called, one of the uh, Anne Bronte books. And let's see, we also have uh, lesson four in the Cereal Bowl Sampler Lesson series, which I believe used to be a kit and then was re-released as just a pattern only. Next, we have a uh, full um, pattern, or excuse me, we have a full coverage pattern from Carolyn Manning Designs called Kaleidoscope, which is a nice kind of rainbow quilt style design that's full coverage. So we decided to get something that wasn't, I guess, as daunting as the Hades, or at least the, the larger Hades, because uh, this one is, um, let's see here, 242 by 242. So, like, medium size, but full coverage. Oh, I should have mentioned this with my other embroidery stuff. We have some new stuff from Sublime Stitching as well. Uh, this is one of the portfolio ones from Mary Blair. Mary Blair 3. Um, they come with just a bunch of different designs inside. Uh, we also got some more of the Natalie Leite and the Gemma Coral portfolios as well as um, some transfer pens from her, some of the Prismatic Stork scissors, which let me go grab those. So we also got the Prismatic Stork, stork scissors, which look like this. Aren't they pretty? Pretty pretty. And they come with the um they're a little faux leather scissor holder um but yeah these are really nice i may have to buy some myself because i don't have enough scissors but they're they're pretty and they're kind of rainbowy they're the oil slick kind of thing um i know we have more stuff but i figured i'd grab this one which is a let me get this one done here is the 2020 keepsake cross stitch calendar you have one design for each month you can see them on the back and whoops it's falling out of here it comes with the pocket calendar which also that has its own little pattern on the inside of the pocket book or pocket calendar whatever it's called and it comes with the instructions or the patterns for each design separately. They're not inside the calendar themselves, it's just the photo of it, uh, but your instructions and everything will be inside here. So those all come together. They have some really cute stuff you can kind of see up here for fall and Halloween, Christmas, that kind of thing. So yeah, they've got kind of different styles mixed in there. So if you're looking for something as an early Christmas gift or just want to get a head start on next year, We've got some of those. We also have the new um, Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine in, and I didn't grab it, but we've got um, some. Uh, let me know what you guys are working on, and if you're excited about anything I just showed you today, let me know. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, again, put them down below, message us directly, whatever, and talk to you later. Bye-bye.